stem de rastam de sitras. Welcome to receiving today your sacred day ceremony ritual, you see, the ninth day after the new moon portal gate opened in ceremony, to receive our golden cobra energy and frequency, to upgrade your own sexual energy to divinity. You are in the second phase of the ascension cycle and journey of your sexual energy for November 2023, and we wish to recluse you, you see, to tell you a story, a story, a story, there was once a girl, you see, on your earth, embodied as a deity. She did not know, she could not see. The programming of her reality lay deep, told the stories at night, you see. She was a lost princess to plant a seed, a seed, a seed, a lost princess. Indeed, to have a happy ever after journey, journey, journey. The stories were read to infuse into her mind controlling her sexual energy to please to please to yearn you see for her happy ending happy ending and her prince to save her freely 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 there is a story of separation you see within your masculine and feminine sexual energies the stories that they lay deep paint you specifically as a priest princess princess you see story is hidden within your own body to receive a decoded message, indeed, for you to reach for riches, for gold, to succeed, to succeed, to raise yourself to a state of royalty, or to have others raise you to it fully. The story you see embedded in the little girl's mind, as she is told, masculine and feminine beings are both sold into the idea and ideal you see, that you can accept and become royalty. Unknowingly, we are wanting you to understand, you see, the story that many were sold and told about a princess and a prince, you see, destined for great things, finding their way, their journey, ascending to royalty freely, successfully finding their way, masculine and feminine beings uniting gracefully in a unity, happily ever after indeed, is not the great story that you should have been told, you see. This world is not for princesses, let's say, indeed, even though this is what you've been told to embody, to try and embody royalty, grace, ease, in a certain way, you see, to be raised above, to be looked at as divinity, divinity, hierarchy, hierarchy, hierarchy. There is a more interesting and powerful story, an idea, you see, as this wound of princess has been imprinted onto your sexual energy, clearly, clearly, clearly. In your societies, look around, look at what you want, you see, to emulate your idea, idea superficially of royalty. Many feminine beings specifically do this, do this, as they are programmed to it, to it, to it. It is a consumerist nature, you see, embedded to remain in insecurity as you learn the truth in your body. There is a different story that we wish you were told, you see. It is a story of the greatness of the masculine and feminine beings. Girls growing up, you see, wish to be princesses, 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 and queens to elevate, to graduate, to live their queendomship, indeed. We suggest there is something greater for you to embody, a true heroine story. The priestess sexual energy is one of great alchemy, power, magical ability. It is a archetype in your sexual energy, using it not as helpless, you see, in need of a white knight to save her, please, no. It is a story of great self-empowerment, you see, direct connection to the goddess energy stream. It is a blessing and a curse indeed to walk as a priestess on your earth, for you to see, for you to see, for you to learn, indeed, to ascend spiritually with great faith and abilities. It is a heroine's story of struggle and strife and poverty and true rising to sovereignty of trauma, you see, in overcoming and healing alchemy, 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 personally. There is no white knight, you see, in your earthly realm, indeed. There's something more to aspire to fully, fully, unity, 
of your own propellant, you see, on your ascension journey. There is a laziness in your ideology, in your sexual energy, you see, a feeling of deserving, a feeling of entitlement, indeed, from the programming onto your sexual energy. We are not saying you are not deserving, indeed. However, you deserve to help yourself if you are in need. There is a great power and a great story of the priestess sexual energy for you to embody. It is something we wish to upgrade you today, to remove the codes of princess, princess, and upgrade them to priestess, priestess, priestess. A priestess, you see, is a woman who is truly free. She has masterful powers and capability. She can move time, space, dimensions, and realities. She can alchemize and heal many great burdens, great things, heal the body. She can lead the masculine, you see, to his freedom, psychically, physically, interdimensionally. She understands the writings on the wall, the texts, the wisdoms of the cosmic frequency. She rides the wave of the Kundalini. She has great power and ability. She does not wait for anyone to free, free, free her. She is not trapped, really. There is nothing that can bind or bound her, you see. There is nothing she is missing, indeed. This is the power of the priestess, sexual energy. The archetype, you see, we wish for you to upgrade, to embody. The priestess, you see, is a in service, in service to our goddess frequency. She lives her life outside of the rules and embodies great energy. She is a power, a force to be reckoned with indeed, and has great sovereignty, true royalty, royalty, royalty. Your earthly world, you see, has portrayed princesses to have it all physically. And we are saying to you, the priestess is something more delicious to us, as she has everything, everything, everything. She can have everything, 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 everything. But she discerns, you see, of what is truly in her heart and follows her heart's lead. This is what it means to be free. To know that you can access all power and manifested ability. And at your fingertips know you can create anything from the energy. However you choose to stay true to you. In the light, serving your truth. In alignment with our goddess frequency. A priestess, you see, gains her value, value, value from her service, 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 and her abilities, expanding into other dimensions and realities. She does not need to be seen by anybody but to be seen by herself freely. It is a capacity that not many are able to achieve in your earthly realm at this time in the 3D. It is up to you to succeed, to succeed, to re- evolve you see the stories the stories the stories of the infancy especially for the feminine beings to be raised to feel that you are unworthy if you do not achieve and have everything physically not seeing that you always had and can have everything 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 however you choose to have only that that is in alignment with you and your goddess destiny this is true wisdom, you see, true great power and restraint, indefinitely. And it demands great respect and truly will set you free. Allow our oracle today to upgrade your sexual energy, to remove the old, outdated codes of the princess, 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 and recode you with the light codes of the priestess, 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 so that you can step into your power, truly, you see so that you can feel the cosmic love and rage in unity, so that you can have the control over your power and abilities to step and walk this earth in the 3D, in full unity, darkness and light, unafraid, sovereign and free. We only
dera sam degi sam brisa ni trasa kashasa ni ta ni ta 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 Prepare to receive the feminine power that you seek to embody your true goddess destiny. Discover more. The temple of the goddess.com. <laughs>